Hey guys, TechnoMentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on your iPhone Buzz. So whenever you get a notification from application, most likely your Messenger or any app, it will buzz for you. So let's show you how to turn that on. So just a couple settings you need to check out. First thing is go into your setting of your iPhone. From there on, just simply hop over to Sounds and Haptic. And we want to ensure that under Haptics, it's either selected to always play or play in silent mode. The first one is going to allow you to, your phone to receive uh, alerts. So we're going to do always play. And then along with that, we want to ensure that system haptics is turned on. Now, after we have done that, the next thing we also want to check out is under things like uh, text tone, right? If you get a new text, we're going to ensure it. Click on haptics here. We're going to make sure it's selected to either any of these if it's none, it will not it will not buzz. So you need to turn any of these on. You can keep it the default. Same for all of these other uh, notifications as well. So if you want it to buzz for a new email, maybe when you send an email, calendar notifications, uh, reminders, every settings. You want to make sure the haptics for all of these settings has something on. If you want that specific one, if it rings, right? If you want it buzzing. We're going to make sure one of these is selected, default one or any of these custom, a buzz setting is turned on. Finally, after you check all these, the last thing you need to check out in the settings here, under accessibility, you're going to click on touch and ensure under this uh, vibration is also turned on. If this is turned off, no matter what you do with the previous setting, your phone will not buzz. So this needs to be turned on as well. And your phone should start buzzing whenever you get a notification. And that's how you do it. I hope this video was informational and helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.